Yo, what is up guys? I am back. In this video, we are going to be watching and reacting to Michigan's Michigan vs. Northern Illinois Week 3 matchup. Let's get into it. I'll bring you guys back in a second. Alright guys, starting off, kicking the ball off. Michigan, Northern Illinois is underway now. They started off with a fair catch. 2-0 Michigan, 1-1 Northern Illinois. Early 3-0 for the defense here. Early in the first. A good low punt, but a good fielding by A.J. Henning. Catches it and runs it all the way back to midfield. That's a great play by A.J. Henning there to start it off and give the offense midfield a field position early in the game. Shout out to Wheels who made this video. I'll put his link in the description. All credit goes to him on this one. Offense starts out with a run and Haskins gets a good first down. Almost breaks that one free, but he will get a first down. Second and ten. This one goes to Corum between the tackles. He'll bounce it out right down to the goal line, down to the five. Let's see if we can punch it in here and take an early 7 0 lead. Second and goal. Cade. QB sneak touchdown. Good start of the day, 7-0 Michigan. Let's go. Defense now. Good little pitch and catch for about 15 yards. Gets it to the 40-yard line. First and 10 again. It's a, it's a dive. No, it's a read option. QB keeper Lombardi down. Another first down. And they're down to the 10-yard line. Looking to score on Michigan early here. They end up having to kick a field goal, so Michigan only gives up a field goal, 7-3 now. Michigan on a run, no, it's a reverse to A.J. Henning. He gets the outside, need a couple blocks. He can't get away, but he'll get to midfield. Another great play for Henning. Right back, now to Haskins who makes a move. First down, good run there by Haskins. Third and two, can we pick it up? It's just another easy dive, another easy first down. Number one rushing attack in the country, and we're showing it here early. Second and six. Inside zone, another eight yard, nine yard first down. Diamond Edwards. Cade, finally back to pass. He'll throw it to the sideline. Good play by Corum, gets it down to the four. Can we punch it in again? First and goal. Run, Corum fighting, another touchdown for him, and he's starting off his year fantastic. Let me tell you. Let's go. Another play to Henning. He gets a couple blocks. Can he get away? He's got one to be. He can't. He'll get a nice game, 20 yards, and the first quarter, 14-3 Michigan. This time it's run by Corm. He stays on his feet. Cuts it out left. Gets all the way to the outside. Inside the 20 to the 15 yard line. Great vision by Corm there. Cade back to pass. Rolls. Fires right. A great juke by Cornelius. And he'll get a first down. Great play down. Second goal now. Haskins over the top. Touchdown. 21 to 3. Early in the second quarter. Let's go. They said junior call. I was so weak at this. <laughs> Cade finally drops back to pass. He'll go to the left side now. Roman Wilson. 14 yard gain. Right now back to Corbin. Makes one miss. Gets to the outside. Makes a what should have been a loss into a 13 yard gain. That's something that you just don't see. Great move by Corum. Nothing much but more to be said. Second and 18 here. Cade back to pass over the middle. Wide open to the alley over the middle. And we pick it all the way back up and some for another first down. Let's go. A run by Haskins. He'll run over two. It doesn't matter. Third and three. Touchdown. 28 to three Michigan. A pass here for first and 10. Cade. Fires deep, Cornelius Johnson beat the corner, and he's gone. What a ball. 80, 
seven yard touchdown. Cade McNamara is showing that he can throw the ball when he needs to. A great pass. Cornelius just double moves the corner and he'll see you later. He's got that breakaway speed. Good ball by Cade. See you later. Michigan back on the ball now. Right back to the run. Haskins for 15 yards. Start the second half. Second and seven. Good run to Coram, who sprints outside, and he beats the safety. Look at the electric speed. Blake Coram, another one. Blake Coram showing his electric speed. Let's go. 42 to three. Look at him just break away, turn on the Jets there, and the safety just can't find can't, can't find him. Can't find him. Great footwork to stay in bounds. That's an easy touchdown there for Blake Corn. Footwork and excellent camera work by our crew. Getting that luck down the sideline. A good return by Hennings. Offense again. Another fake run reverse. Roman Wilson gets nine, eight yards. Missing now. Donovan Edwards just got to pick up the first down. Good play to, to do that. Second and two. Good McCarthy. Read option and he'll get it down to the four yard line. On third and ten. Second and goal now. Over the top. Was he across? They say touchdown. Let's go. Corum over the top. Let's see it again. Yes, he was over the top. That's a touchdown for Michigan. First and ten here. Lombardi drops back to pass. Throws it. It's tipped and picked off. Green. Green gets it down to the five after the tipped interception. Let's go, defense. That's what we need. We need to start creating turnovers. Now second goal, easy, rushing, touchdown, again, Donovan Edwards, going to be great for years to come, him and McCarthy could be something cra crazy here in Ann Arbor, we're all over Northern Illinois though, 56-3, a good throw out to the right, Cornelius Johnson makes one miss, looks to juke him out, but he'll just step out of bounds, get a nice gain of almost 20. Over 100 for Cornelius Johnson. Easy run. Donovan Edwards. This time, easy. He has to beat one guy and it's over with. See you later. Donovan Edwards once again. Touchdown. Too easy. Michigan. This is what we should do. This is what we should do against teams like this. This is what we should do. Um, and they did it to perfection. Not mad at it. 63 to 3. Third quarter. Exactly how it should be. No close game to no bums. Yards, eight rushing touchdown. Yeah. This is crazy. The rushing attack, number one in the country. If we can get some solid passing in to back this up, we're going to go a long way this year. Simple as that. They do drive down the field on third and eight. Lombardi does get his does get his little laugh with Northern Illinois. Scored the touchdown. Makes it 63 to 10. Um, but we uh we stomp we stomp Lombardi and then I'll do it shout out to wheels making this video hope you guys enjoy my reaction we're on the Rutgers next week baby let's go get some money I'll be at the game I'll see you all for another vlog let's get it all right guys couldn't leave you all without showing you the stats for this game Cade McNamara 8 for 11 191 one touchdown Game manages the game, gets us conversions when we need it, and uh, puts the ball in the end zone on a long touchdown. Um, played good. McCarthy comes in pretty much, plays the second half. Four for six and 42 yards, pretty much just hands the ball off. Makes a couple, makes a couple plays and gets up out of there with a W. Um, let's talk about this running attack, obviously. Number one in the country for a reason. Blake Corum, 13, 125. 
averages almost a first down a carry with three touch three touchdowns. Absolutely insane. Donovan Edwards, eight for eighty six. He averages a first down with his carries, two touchdowns. Hassan Haskins, on a minimalized role, having to share the backfield, but I'm sure he'll get a lot more burn in these tougher games. So he just gotta kind of be patient, continue trusting the process. We're gonna go a long way. Hassan Haskins goes. Nine for 56, average at six, six a carry for two touchdowns. AJ heading on a reverse, got 26. Dunlap, another young young back, it goes five for 43. He gets 8.6 a carry. McCarthy on his re option, got 16 yards, almost put it in the end zone. Isaiah Gass, four for 10. Rowan Wilson on a end round, 10 yards. All we needed, um, that's the rushing attack. Cornelius Johnson. Might have just stapled himself as a new number one receiver with Ronnie Bell being out. Three, 117, touchdown. Need more of that in big games with uh, Big Ten play opening up against Rutgers. And, um, yeah, I mean, we just got to gotta pass the ball more. Rome was in two for 26. A couple other guys made big plays. Ali over the middle on a big third down. Baldwin continuing to get himself involved. Three for 23. Not mad at that. Um, so there's the, uh, the offense. Let's switch over to the defense. Vincent Graves has the most tackles, four. Josh Ross played a nice game. Three track, three tackles, three assists. Moulton got three tackles. Donovan Jr. three. Um, Junior Colson played more in week two, I felt like, but Hill Green plays more this game, it seemed like. He gets two tackles. All right, guys, I'm back now. Um. Like I was saying, Hill Green seemed like he played more snaps out opposite of Josh Ross. Um, he gets two tackles, one assisted, as well as uh, Walsh Chalk, the D lineman from Germany, two and one. Um, Jabba, I felt like two and two tackles. Um, not no no sacks really. That's uh, that's insane that we didn't sack the quarterback. Um, but uh, defense really didn't have to do too much. They didn't really do too much uh, offensively. So just a bunch of tackles, but nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. Obviously, uh, Jermon Green got the tipped interception, and that'll do it for this one, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. 63-10 Michigan win. I'll be in the big house next week. Michigan versus Rutgers. I hope you guys enjoyed and are ready for that vlog coming to you next week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace time out.